Okay, so given this equation, um, how do we show that uh, the derivative is given by this expression? So it's important to note that uh, we're going to use implicit differentiation simply because in our curve we have both y and um, x. So to understand implicit differentiation, um, for this part where we have x to the power 3, we're just going to differentiate x with respect to x, I don't know why we do it. But for this part where we have um, a term with y, we're going to differentiate with respect to y and multiply it with uh, dy dx. Then for this part, we have x and y, we're going to consider them as two functions of multiplying, and hence we shall use the product rule. So let's go ahead. So to start with, we have uh, 3x, or x power 3, sorry. So x power 3, let me just write the whole thing, 2y cubed, this is equals to 3xy. So this is what we're going to do. The derivative of uh, x cubed is simply 3x squared. The derivative of uh, this expression with respect to y is 6y squared. Now, since we're differentiating with respect to y, we're going to multiply this with uh, dy dx, of which we shall just use y prime in this case. On this other side, we have x and y multiplying. So like I said, for this side, we're going to use the product rule. So the product rule that we're going to be using is the first function, which is our u, let's use, um, let's get 3x, then v, let's get y. So what's the derivative here? u prime is simply 3, v prime is simply uh, 1 multiplied by uh, dy dx. Remember what I said, when you differentiate with respect to y, you always have to multiply that uh, derivative with um, dy dx or y prime in this case. So according to the product rule, it's given by the formula u v prime plus v u prime. So let's do the substitutions. Our u is 3x, our v prime is simply y prime plus our v is y and our u prime is 3. So if we simplify this, we are going to get um, 3xy prime, or let's just leave it as this, 3y. So this is what we get when we differentiate this part, which has x and y. So we use the product rule to obtain this expression. So here, the derivative of this part is simply 3xy prime plus 3y. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make dy dx the subject of the formula, or we're going to make y prime the subject of the formula. So we're going to do it in this way. This will become 6y squared y prime, this part that we have here. This expression also come this side, so that will be minus 3xy prime. This is equals to 3y, this 3y here. The 3x squared also go to the other side, so I'll say minus 3x squared. Okay, from there, since we're making dy dx a subject of the formula, let's factor it out. So if we factor out dy dx, what do we get? we'll have 6y squared minus 3x. In brackets, we have factored out dy dx. This is equals to, uh, what is common here? 3, so let's just factor it out. So 3 is common, what remains? y minus x squared. Since we want dy dx, we're going to divide both sides by this expression. So y prime is equals to 3, open bracket, y minus x squared, divided by this whole bracket, which is a 6y squared minus 3x. Now at this stage, uh, what we can do is, uh, we can also factor out 3 here, because it's common. So y prime, like I said, is the same as dy dx. So I can just write it like that, it's okay. This is equals to uh, 3, open bracket, y minus x squared, divided by, we factor out 3 in the denominator as well, so 3, in bracket, 2y squared minus x. Then the 3 can cancel out, meaning that, um, let's just do this a bit, meaning that this whole expression can just reduce to what we are supposed to find. So if the 3 cancels out, this will just result to y minus x squared divided by 2y squared minus x which is uh, that expression. 
So just like that, we have shown that uh, dy dx is given by this expression. Okay. 